What if I told you that this was an AI CPA licensed question? What would you say? Well, you'd say, absolutely not. And you'd be correct because we know those AI CPA licensed questions aren't typically this fun. Now we have Joey's Chicken Nuggets. And I'm sorry to do this to you, but I immediately think about Chick-fil-A and those tasty, tasty chicken nuggets. Now they've entered into a franchise agreement with Bryce Canyon National Park to be a food vendor for the next four years. So this is a four year contract to basically franchise this chicken nugget business and serve all of those customers visiting Bryce Canyon National Park. So great arrangement here, very excited little business to dive into. Now under the terms of this agreement, Joey's Chicken Nuggets must pay Bryce Canyon an initial franchise fee of $20,000. But the good news for Joey's Chicken Nuggets is that's not necessarily a cash outflow of $20,000 at the start. Right? It can be paid in $5,000 increments over the next four years. And the first $5,000 is actually due when the contract is signed. Right? So basically, there's a deferral of $15,000 of the contract over the next three years. So that helps us understand the timing of cash flows, but we know that cash flow does not always equal accrual counting. And that's really what this next paragraph is focused on. Can Bryce Canyon recognize that full initial franchise fee of $20,000, or does it have to be recognized over uh, a future period? And basically, we need to think about the performance obligation. And guess what? It says that Bryce Canyon has performed its duties and the refund period has expired, right? So that full initial franchise fee of $20,000 can be recognized in the current year by Bryce Canyon. And that's exactly what this question is asking about. It says, how much revenue should Bryce Canyon recognize at the end of the first year of the contract? All right, so that's the current year. And they're going to be able to recognize that full $20,000. Again, because the performance obligation has been satisfied by Bryce Canyon and the refund period has expired. So let's go through the journal entry to understand the big picture and how this would be recorded in the current year. So $5,000 of cash was paid up front in the current year when the contract was signed. Now $15,000 will be deferred. So let's go ahead and say a debit to cash for 5,000 and then they'll receive another $5,000 of cash within the next 12 months. So we'll debit accounts receivable for 5,000, but what about that remaining $10,000? Well, that's gonna be some sort of long-term uh, receivable. So we'll just debit uh, long-term receivable for 10,000. So that's the debit side for this $20,000 initial franchise fee. But because everything has been satisfied by Bryce Canyon, the refund period has expired, they'll go ahead and recognize a franchise fee revenue of $20,000 with a credit for $20,000. So that full amount will be recognized in the first year of this contract. So when we think about what the question is asking about, well, it's going to be a full uh, revenue recognized of $20,000. So in these questions, it's very important to pay attention not only to the timeline, but also the little details that are provided. And I always, always, always encourage you to think about the journal entry to see the big picture and then work back to, okay, what aspect of this journal entry do I need to solve the question? If you just try to pull out exactly what you need to solve the question without thinking about the big picture journal entry, you might realize that you missed something. So again, I'm sorry to do that to you with this question. Hopefully you can get the chicken nuggets off your mind, but if not, maybe treat yourself to a little Chick-fil-A or some other chicken nuggets somewhere else uh, once you're done with your study session, all right?